Just outside Geneva, Switzerland, is a gigantic physics experiment often called the Big Bang Machine, though its proper name is the Large Hedron Collider. The multi-billion dollar project was turned on a year ago September. Nine days later, it was heavily damaged after some problems. Now, after 14 months of repairs, it is back up and running, and it could could answer some of the biggest mysteries in science. Physicist Dr. Michio Kaku is host of the Science Channel's upcoming series, Sci-Fi Science, Physics of the Impossible. The tube itself is about, oh, about eight inches across, mm -hmm. 17 miles in circumference. Right. I went right up there and touched the tube. Dude. Now, of course, it's radioactive. Right, <laughs> now, here's the problem. This thing fell apart a year and a half ago, I mean, a, a, a 17 months or so ago, and uh, p some people said something was sent from the future to sabotage the machine because people in the future realized if this thing actually really, really works, it could recreate the Big Bang and we'd all get sucked into this black hole. Well, there are a lot of wacky theories out there, harebrained theories. Everyone's jumping and putting their own spin on it. Right, uh, so to speak. We're not going to be blown up from messengers from the future. Uh, Just realize that Mother Nature thinks of this as a pea shooter uh, compared to cosmic rays that hit us every single day. Right. Mother Nature has atom smashes out there more powerful than this pea shooter. All right, very good. Dr. Kakuka, thank you very, very much. Really, really appreciate it.